Hancock County District Attorney's Office. Yes, I need to speak to the victims of crime. Um, okay, hold and on and I'll transfer to that department. Thank you. Victim Services, how may I assist you? Um, yes, I was wondering if you could um, tell me a little bit how um, I go about getting help as a victims of crime survivor. Um, yeah, of course. Give me one quick second, okay? Surely. Perfect. I'm going to put you on hold. Mm-hmm. Yes, who am I speaking with? This is Jasmine. What information are you looking for? I'm looking um, to be able to obtain information on how do I get support from your office as a victims of crime survivor. I'm sorry, but what report are you looking for? Are you looking for like a police report or, because uh, I need a little bit more information to better direct you. Um, I'm looking for somebody in, in your victims of crime unit that helps people that are survivors of victims of crime. So you're trying to apply for compensation to get like counseling, <sighs> therapy, relocation, or is a case going through the yeah. current criminal justice system? Well, right now I have an ongoing lawsuit and, and I have disability for post-traumatic stress disorder for being a survivor of violent crimes. Um, and I'm wondering what it is that your office does to help people like me. So what we do is if it's going through the criminal justice process, not through civil court, but through the criminal justice, we help them go, go to court, we give them cases both of us know what's going on, and then we also help them apply for compensation through the state. I now see. the state, they can help you get therapy, um, counseling, mm -hmm. relocation, that's something that you're looking for. Sure. And we provide resources that are in um, Yolo County. Okay. Now, when you say relocation, do you help that person apply for, like, government HUD housing? No, no. we don't do that. Okay. So with the state, with the application through the state, if you uh -huh. qualify, they will help pay for up to $1,200 to help you relocate. But the thing is that, one, you have to be approved for it, and uh -huh. two, you have to find your own housing. Oh. And then, again, it's up to the state to determine if they can help reimburse mm -hmm. you for that relocation. Okay. Now, what do you do in, the, in helping... Um, that person uh, to be able to protect that person from hate crimes? Well, we don't protect them per se. We give them resources like with Empower mm -hmm. Yellow to help them get restraining orders or sure. help you get like a safety plan through that. Uh -huh. But it has to go through law enforcement first to make a police report right. and then the DA will review it and then that's when victim services will get involved. Okay. Um, that's about it. We sure. don't really, there's not a lot of resources right now for hate crimes besides, you know, counseling and to help you get through mm -hmm. that process to be a mm -hmm. better, stronger person from for sure. them to bring you down. That right, makes sense. right, right. Okay, well, I'm, I'm experiencing a plethora of hate crimes, um, and I've never had a felony. I've never had a 50, 150, and I've never been jailed, but a, a, capital employee that is a clerk put an illegal restrainer against my free speech to try to silence me after she's made numerous hate crimes against me because she's collaborated with those in my community that have made hate crimes against me and um, and she's aware that I'm a survivor of rape and incest rape and she's sought to cover um, my rape as perpetrators and, um, and I'm also a survivor of domestic violence uh, from a retired raider. And that raider knows cops that tried to kill me in my apartment for risking my life for my black ex-boyfriend. All of this stuff is included in the reason why I have uh, PTSD and disability for PTSD. And, um, and yet I have been uh, blacklisted from housing. I have been harassed from uh, this person's cop friends whose uh, family, drug family, were my old neighbors. And after I had reported them, racist P.D. Figueroa, who was sued 
from Attorney Burris for beating a black man um, after I reported them is the reason why uh, they tried the cops tried to kill me um, in my apartment uh, and they tried to attack my black boyfriend at that time instead of going after me uh, initially and then when I defended his life with my own um, you know it, it was just like I was blacklisted from that point on and ever since then um, I've endured a series of hate crimes blacklisting uh, lies in my community about me and my moral character and and everything else and uh, people don't want to help me because of my political views and the climate that we're living in as well as the fact that I am a victim of crime survivor and they made a damn team game supporting a shitload of riffraff in my community including cops families to chase after my dreams they made li literally a crazy ass game from I'm sure you know of it where UC Davis has promoted a plethora of students to become instant celebrities um, from this game my ex-raider Lester Hayes he has also been a part of this um, and the Capitol employees media friends have lied about me on media at Good Day Sacramento in KCRA 3 I'm blacklisted from housing I have cops that harass me how do I stop this sort of thing I have filed numerous lawsuits for years, okay, so for years. Unfortunately, I don't have access to uh, information about that, but I do have um, a resource that, that's in Sacramento that may be able to help you better than we can because if we don't receive a report, then mm -hmm. we, there's nothing that we can really do in our office. Okay. Um, I can give you that information, and I can also give you um, a California victim compensation, so that way you can apply yeah. for counseling that way to better okay. help you to um, deal with what you're going through. Give me okay. one second, please. Okay. Okay, so the place I'm trying to refer you to is called mm -hmm. the National Crime Victim Bar Association. Okay. And I have their phone number okay. whenever you're ready. I'm ready. So their phone number is going to be area code 202 467 8753. Okay. And then um, you can also email them at victim, that's V I C T I M B A R, all in one word, at NS and Nancy, CS and Cat, CS and Victor, CS and Cat dot org. Okay. And they have branches out here in Sacramento as well. Um, and they gotta better go through everything that you're going through to better guide you on what to do and how to um, process everything. Okay. And then for um, California Victim Compensation, their website is gonna be victims, that's B I C T I M S. Um, Victims.ca.gov oh, okay. and you can actually apply online um, mm -hmm. to get compensation. Okay. Now I've actually no. applied for them before and they have not helped me and they have sent me, you know, all kinds of excuses as to why they wouldn't help me and um and they said things like statute of limitations, which of course didn't apply to that because I had filed a, um, a administrative claims uh, before to qualify me for tort lawsuits and litigation and all kinds of stuff um, before I even uh, applied with them, or it was a, it was about the same time. But anyways, and then. You know, uh, some years later they said, I talked to somebody and said, you know, that that person, all the, the people that were involved with denying my claim um, were wrong to deny my claim. And I said, you know, uh, and I just, but she didn't, you know, elaborate. And she just said, you know, just go apply again. You know, it's a lot to have to go apply. And so I'm just... Anyways, I just wanted to um, let you know that and to also ask you um, if you could look up like a case for me. If Are you, you the victim in this case or no? Well, I mean, it, it's since I um, 
so the Capitol employee put an illegal restrainer against my free speech. Uh, she has continued to harass me, but because nobody really gives a shit about my rights, I'm just trying to figure out um, what it is that I can do. Um, it's not a criminal restrainer. It's a, it's a restrainer against my free speech. And, um, and, and that is, uh, 2020 CV, uh, 1043. No, unfortunately I can only see the criminal cases. I can't see civil cases. And that's Did you not type that it in there? I have, yeah, but I, our numbers don't go that long and we don't have like CR oh, in there. I see. I see. Um, Okay. I'm going to give you the uh, number uh, of the family law facilitator. They have uh, lawyers in the courthouse in Yolo County, yeah. and they could be able to pull that up for you. Give sure. me one second. Mm is going to be 530-406-6794. Mm -hmm. And they'll have access to um, civil cases, and they can be, tell you more information about what's going on with that. Okay, and what time do they close? Um, on our brochure, it says Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, mm -hmm. but you may want to call them just because with um, COVID, I don't know if their hours have changed. Yeah, because I called and they said that they closed at 3, so I don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because um, the brochure that I have says 4 o'clock, so. Sure, sure. Um, so the other question that I have is, um, Uh, my name is Tanya Grace McDaniel. If you were to type in my name, could you see anything? No, I'm not seeing anything with your name. Nothing pops up. Okay. Um... Well, I do have lawsuits, 18-17440 uh, and 321CV00994. Uh, are these civil cases correct? They, they are. I'm the plaintiff. and Okay. And I, Again, for civil uh, cases, I don't have access to that. I can only see criminal cases. Sure, sure. Okay. Uh, so, um, like, if, like, this capital employee wanted to try to you know, harass me more, because obviously what she did was retaliate against me. She's lied about me in my community for years. She she tried to hack my bank account information. She, like I said, she's collaborated with media to harass me uh, with codes and, and making all these uh, harassments in my community. I feel bullied, like I can't go anywhere. When I go to the hotels, she has stalked me because she moved to my mother's low-income housing and doesn't even qualify where I'm my mother's caregiver and I'm on disability. And, you know, she's got friends and your managers, you know, related to the Figueroas. And, I mean, it's just like there's nothing that I can do in a community that I've lived in since I was nine years old. And I've never had a felony or 5150, and I've never been jailed. And I'm not allowed to have my political views. I'm not allowed to go anywhere. I'm not allowed to talk about the crimes that I've witnessed and crimes that have happened to me while everybody's screaming about hate crimes against all these other groups. I'm not allowed to talk about the things that have happened to me and how my community and and society has harassed the hell out of me and re-victimized me for years. And I'm just like, what do I do? I can't call the cops because they're all in cahoots. I've already filed lawsuits against them, and they're friends with the Capitol employee. Um, the DOJ, you know, who do I call there? They're friends with the Capitol employee, and they've got criminal family that has harassed my beloved stepfather that was, 
in a, the Davis convalescent, you know, uh, until he died. I mean, uh, uh, just so many hate crimes that I, I can't even begin to even describe. I mean, this person has sought to cover my rapist perpetrators, you know, connected to... I have a relative that is a firefighter, and her friends were my drug trafficking neighbors related to the Zunigas, P.D. Zuniga and Figueroa, and they're friends with the Capitol employee and have sought to cover uh, not only my rapist perpetrator, but my incest rapist perpetrator that is the mother of my firefighter relative, and my firefighter relative is an LGBTQ, and they are all... Uh, they all collaborate to harass me and get away with all of their shit for a hundred thousand years because of their drug trafficking from many years ago and blacklisting me. And this has gone on. The restrainer is happened like six months ago and she put a five year restrainer on my free speech there's nothing in the restrainer that even says that I'm a harm to her or society or any of her family except for my mouth and what I've been saying. And I've been saying things that I've witnessed. And she even told the cops, the Davis police, that that I'm not a harm, that she didn't want me to call her place of work or post her about her on my Facebook page, which I st stopped doing right before before she even filed the lawsuit because I just told the Capitol that I was going to sue them. And right after I did that, they retaliated against me with her filing an illegal restrainer against my free speech. And I'm just like, again, what do I do in a society where I'm being excruciatingly violated of my constitutional rights to privacy, okay. so I to would protection? So I would contact that number that I gave you and okay. they can give you more resources because I can't do anything right now. I don't have a police report and I'm not seeing anything. So please reach out to the National Crime Victim and Bar Association. Okay, well, you can also go see her. I filed a lawsuit. I mean, I filed a restrainer. 2020 CV 1157. Again, ma'am, it's civil. I can't out say anything with civil Right, right. Uh, so are you, are you in charge of the victim's compensation or victims of crime? No, the victim's compensation, that's a separate <laughs> program. That was that, um, that um, email address that I gave you to reach out to them. I see. Okay. Okay. And so in between, in between all of this, crap. I just, what else is there for me to do except for call those places? Is it, is That's the only resources that I have besides the Power YOLO. They may be able to help you there as well because they do have lawyers there too. Yeah, they don't, but they don't help me because, you know, I'm gossiped about in my community and because I don't share their same political views on things, they discriminate against me. You know, so I don't, I don't get help from them either. And um, those are the only resources that I have now. You know, I mean, if you if you are banned from your free speech, uh, amendment, the First Amendment to even talk about things that are happening in the world that are so crucial, regardless of what your political views are, and and you're being punished for that, that's not acceptable. You know what I'm saying? And yes, I understand what you're saying, but yeah. there's nothing I could do at this time until a police report comes into our office. Okay. Um, so, uh, bottom line is, I guess, um, oh, so who am I speaking with? So I might refer to you again if I need to. My name is Jasmine. Okay. Um, okay, so I've documented... Um, you know, what you've told me and, and all of this call and stuff so that I can uh, have have this to help support me in advocacy and, and also to call those phone numbers. So um, I guess I'll just go from there. And what would you suggest would be the best 
resource in starting with first, the Victims Comp? Or I would say the National Crime Victim Bar Association. Okay, now are they connected with uh, attorneys because they are a bar association? Yes, they are. Okay. And so they may be able to locate me to specifically to somebody that could help me. That's correct. Okay, yeah, I, I don't think I have heard of them before. Um, and and in the the other place you you suggested was something else. I the California Victim Compensation. Right. Okay. And that I told you I had I had called them also before. So I will try both of those places and and see where to go from there. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome.